getting on nations, getting your journey, and I hope you guys are all good. And I hope you're okay. Now, I've been getting a few questions lately about tips for beginners. So I'm going to kick this video series off, and this is called Workout Tips. And this specific video today is going to be tips for beginners. And if you guys have got any questions or anything you'd like to know, and if I have the answer to it, then let me know in that comment section. You can ask the questions and I will add it to the workout tips series. So the first question today was tips for beginners. Tips for beginners. If you're new to the channel, you need a BBC. A big black coffee that is. So without further ado, my three biggest tips for beginners. Consistency. When you step into that gym for the first time, and you lift weights, and you feel great. You want the results to come fast and furious. And they will with time, but it's about being consistent. And what I mean by consistent is lifting a minimum of two to three days a week, and a maximum of at least four, maybe six days a week, depending on the workout split and the training program that you may be following. If you can only get into the gym two days a week, then try and focus on two full body workouts that week. Maybe on Tuesday you do a full body workout, and on Thursday or Friday you do another full body workout, if that is the days that you are limited to the gym. Now if you can get in there maybe more frequent, maybe four or five days of gym, then you can get something more in depth. Something like the Beyond Wendler 531 programs, such as I'm running at the moment. Maybe you could do, if you can be in the gym six days a week, then legs push pull, legs push pull training split. But frequency and consistency is the key to any gym results that you are trying to attain or attribute. Now, if you go into the gym one day, miss three days, oh, I'll go again next week, oh, blah, 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 then you're not going to get the results that you want to acquire. If you want something, then you have to do something different in order to acquire those results. So if you're not getting the results of something you're doing now, then you need to switch that shit up and acquire something new to attain that goal that you want to reach. So, consistency is the first. Second tip that I can give you is don't rush. What I mean by don't rush is don't rush the progress. The progress will come. The first two to three years are what I like to call the glory years because that is when you will make the biggest results of your transformation. After two or three years, your progress starts to slow down. However, the progress does come and it does come fast and furious. However, it doesn't come as quickly as your newbie gains, if you would like to call it that, in your first one to three years. Now, when I mean don't rush, I don't mean don't go into the gym, rush your workout just to get out. I don't mean don't try and go six days a week because you think that's going to be beneficial to you because you're going to get more results than going two days a week because it's not like that. It's all about being consistent, not rushing and stepping back. And when you think to yourself, I'm not getting results, I'm not getting results, I need to do something different, I need to do something different. Which leads me to my third tip, take regular photos. Before you start the gym, say you're starting your new endeavor today. Say for instance, today is not, but it's January the 1st, 2014. You're stepping into that gym for the first day, take some photos. If you can't take them, or if you're not too confident with someone taking them, just set a timer on your telephone, stand it up, and get a front, a back, and a side pose poses so that you know where you've come from. Because two or three years down the line, four or five years down the line, if this is something you want to pursue for a career or something long term, and you look back and you've got no progress photos to show people where you came from and the achievements that you've achieved because you've put this hard work, the sweat, the dedication and everything into this to create where you will be at and you've got nothing to show for that, then it's going to be a, a great journey. But isn't it nice to look back and go, well, that's where I was. You know, that's where I was. That's where I was. And I did not like it. And this is where I am today. And I'm loving life. So take regular photos. The first time you step into the gym, take photos every two or three weeks. Just keep up to date with them. Don't go post them on Facebook. Look at me, I've made huge results in two weeks because it doesn't come like that. Take photos, store them on a desktop back, uh, in your desktop in a folder. Transformation. Name it transformation. The start date and the end date is never. Okay? Because you're never going to end this transformation. You're going to keep improving. You're going to keep coming into the gym, hitting new things. You're going to target new muscle groups in new ways. So store a folder. Store these progress photos. Every two to three weeks, take photos. After maybe six months, take photos every month. Just to see where you're at. Take regular weigh-ins. Take regular body compositions. 
maybe weigh yourself and also measure areas, your biceps, your neck, your chest, your legs, your thighs, your calves, uh, your glutes, you know, the circumference from the waist round, uh, and take regular weigh-ins, take regular, you know, measurements. And then that way you're gonna ensure that when you actually fall back and go, oh, I haven't made results, I haven't made results. Before you think I'm gonna take, you know, change my program or take something to enhance yourself, look at those progress photos. Okay, well, you know what, I did make a bit of improvement there. I actually added half an inch to my arms in the last six months. On my chest, I added an inch to it. Well, I'm making results. So they are my three biggest tips for you. Stay consistent, don't rush, and take regular photos so that you can log your progress and see exactly where you're coming from. So I hope this has been helpful. And if it has, like the video, because it helps me. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Um, this is actually the weight that I want to get down to. I want to get down to about 170 pounds from 195. Um, so that is where the journey has taken me.